Assalamu alaikum, I'm Maria and yes, today I'm going to share with you some of my tips on how to handle your kids when they're throwing tantrums. I mean, this is only much of my experience with my children. Hey, Saya! I never tried this to any other children because, like, why should I? <laughs> so, first things first, you have a. I don't know how your kids' with tantrums look like, but there are so many types, okay? My kids alone pun dah bapa jenis tantrum ada nampak. There's the kind of tantrum yang jerit-jerit, sekuat hati dia dekat dalam shopping mall ke tempat makan ke dia kejerit macam gila. Ada yang macam start rolling all over the floor and crying and wailing and start to, you know, thrash around and stuff. Macam dia kena sawan ke apa kan. And then there's the kind yang macam when you tengah, you know, nak akad dia ke or nak take them away ke dia start hanging on to the, I don't know, something and then macam nah. And then there's the kind yang macam dari tempat tu sampai ke rumah akan nangis non-stop tu. So, I have gone through and I faced all those kinds of tantrums with just Nadra. Eh? This boy, this boy, but long like me, but just with Nadra, I experienced all those things, all those types of tantrums, and I've been embarrassed so many times. Awal dulu masa she was you know two years old like that, you know they say the terrible two face. Ah! So the terrible two face, they say you know it's gonna be the worst time. But after that, they wanna be okay. But Nadra, no, it was up until she was four, and I think only recently this year that she starts to really much chill. The terrible two is because that year, I mean that time. That is the time that they actually start to, especially girls school, you know girls, we like to feel a lot of things. It's not that we like, it's fitra from one that we feel a lot of things at one time. So I think that's the same for children, you know, especially girls, I think. To boys, I'm not so sure yet because my boy is still okay lah, macam bila dia nak throw tantrum too, it's not so hard to understand why, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just my kids, I don't know. Just as a note, if you guys follow my Instagram or even which I watch my previous vlogs, you would notice that I'm always with my kids by myself. Sometimes it's just me and my boy, sometimes it's me with the both of them. But whatever it is, it's most of the time I'm by myself. So here are my tips on how to handle your kids when they're throwing tantrums. So number one, we have to identify the uh, fuel though. Because the fire is the anger. Let's say they're angry because they didn't get what they want. You know, so they want some toys or food because they didn't get it. So they, they're angry and they start throwing tantrums. But there's always the fuel. The fuel only how yang penting. Sometimes it's because they're hungry. Sometimes it's because they're sleepy or they're thirsty. They want susu. They want. They need diaper change. Something that is really much uncomfortable for them. But they don't know. They don't know it all. All they know is that they're not feeling so nice about themselves, and then there's anger on top, and then they just blast off. And much like my doctor, she sometimes believe to throw through tantrum. What I do is take her to the car, because once she's trapped in her car, see, the car start going, the aircon's full blast, then they like, and then secondly, you cannot go to the car immediately. No, but you need to take control of the matter. Right then, I used to give my kids some small victories. Okay, I'm like, no, you cannot have that toy, but you can have this cheaper toy. No, you cannot eat that lollipop, but you can have this thing. You know, this eye or something like that. And then number three, what I do is I threaten my kids. <laughs> Last time I used to threaten in a very threatenable manner, like. Don't do this now. I'm going to punish you. Put in the punish corner. You want to go punish corner? So yeah, I used to have a punish corner, but it doesn't work for my kids. Like they stand in the corner, and nothing. Not it doesn't make them learn anything. You know, they just stand there and cry. Especially Nadra. Isaac ni macam so far kita tu tak kat corner. He would just run, run back and laugh and stuff. Macam benda tu is nothing. So five minutes in the corner does not work for our kids. That's why I changed my threaten method by counting to three. Now this is my best tip ever. 
I give this tip to a lot of people already and uh, some of them say that it really works now counting to three it, it sounds so much a menacing tau so what I do is I would tell Nadra like for example I need her to clean up the house she spill her toys all over the place Gear one, eh? please clean up Nadra Umi have cleaned up everything and now you make a mess so I have so now please help me clean up your toys Okay, fine. Let's bring up to gear two. This is my number two gear number two. Can I do threaten a finger? I'm telling you, please clean up the toys before I get angry. Nagado, no me, no I don't want to clean up. Okay, let's master gear three. Nadra, I'm going to count to three. If you still don't clean up, you know what's gonna happen. Then she'll be like. What? What's going to happen? You want to see what's going to happen when I come to three? What? What, Omi? What? What's going to happen? One, two. Omi, what are you going to do at number three? Omi, Omi, what are you going to do at number three? I'm going to do something that's going to hurt you so bad. You're going to cry so much, but nobody's going to care. You want that? You want that? Okay, fine. I clean up my toy. <laughs> I tell you. When I come to three, usually at number two, they are like a What's going to happen at number three? So before number three happens, she will always do what I told her to do. So this is so this method actually works very well for me and my kids. At least they know much like, they they don't want to cross that 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 limit. Like, they don't want to cross my limit because they don't want to test me and stuff. They're afraid of me. They want to shit they I think it's. For me lah, it's like 98% success rate <laughs> for me. But I don't know about you guys, you guys have to like, fine tune lah your punya technique kira tu macam mana or threaten macam mana kan. So that's my 3 tips on how to handle your kids when they throw away tantrums and if you're on your own. But if you have your like, a partner with you, spouse ke, your mother ke, a maid ke, anyone lah you have with you at that time, if your kids is throwing tantrums, okay, if they're tengah throwing tantrum and they particularly tengah aiming you, they tanak you specifically, okay, then you have to pass it over to your partner. Um, it's the best way to control the situation. Your partner boleh pujuk dia and then baru you boleh, you know, macam after the kid dah relax, kid dah calm down, then only you pujuk your kid. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I only practice this on my kids. I really hope that it will inspire you or even help you to do this with your kid. Just so you know, just so you know, okay? When your kid is throwing an extremely super duper tantrum, just know that nobody is judging you. I tell you, 90% of the people, when they see your kid throwing tantrum, they're not gonna think you're a bad parent. So don't think that you're a bad parent. Even I, when I see orang anak dia tengah snow angel on the floor, you know, just doing crazy things all over the place, I don't judge them at all. Instead, what I feel is, I want to empower the mother or even encourage the parent to stay strong, you know. There are a couple of times when I caught like, a parent in your eyes and I would be like, kids, you know. And like, seriously, don't feel like people are judging you on the way that you treat your children. You can do this, don't worry. I've seen so many like, single parents out there. I mean, I don't know if they're single parents or maybe they're like me, like, so orang, so orang keluar dengan anak. And they're doing just fine. So you can do it too. Okay? Don't ever think that because I'm not I tak boleh keluar. I mean that was me. Okay? And I really, really don't encourage you to feel that way for your kids because don't put the blame on the kids. No. It's not the kids' fault for being that way. But we supposed to be able to control the situation because we're the grown-ups, right? So do your best. Just be patient, stay strong, and um, find the technique that suits you and your children, okay? I hope this this will help you lah, inshallah. So that's all from me. Assalamualaikum, kata jambusu, kalau jawab, sayang!